There you go. I don't know if they can see the stream. Uh, actually, I actually should see where we're at. It's a live stream because there's a stream right there. Oh, move move on a little bit. Uh, and this is what it's like yeah, talking to YouTube land. Hopefully those that join a little bit later will see. We have Rob Pelton here. He's on the move across the country, I visiting am. various different locations, practicing workshops or hosting workshops to help practice leave no trace principles. Yeah. Over here, you know this guy, Senior Hiker 77, also known as Johnny Camper. Johnny Camper <laughs> on the spot. That's right. And that's what we're doing here today. We're not going to say where we're at because that's not a good thing for safety. But you know what? Uh, they not. Look, you, I think you are say it. Don't you run? I don't know. There's always that one person. Maybe, Maybe. Yeah, who's the one yeah, person? But, yeah, there's but, lots of trails. Yeah, but there's so many trails and camps like that. We have no idea. So we have a couple joiners. I don't know who they are, but if you want to put a comment or a chat, Wander with Will. Oh, oh, hey, guys, we, hey, just saw, we just saw him. Hey, what's up, man? Wander Will. We were just up at uh, Hogfin Gap, and he was actually there. Wander with Will was actually hosting a uh, cookout with a group of people. And he actually was handing out free food. We actually got some free, uh, free food. In fact, it looks like we're eating. He food. wanted a hot dog, by the way. Yeah, he didn't bring me back a hot dog. Uh, Whoever uh, you uh, were, uh, he's bad. It looks like we're up to three people. Uh, uh, who's all in the chat? Make sure we can't see anybody uh, specifically. So put a comment. Jacob Bowser, what's up, man? I appreciate you being here. He's uh, actually, I don't know, you follow Rob Pelton? I think you heard Jacob Bowser. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We go way back. We're way back. Anyway, North Georgia Mountains is what I'm going to say. Near the Appalachian Trail, we just ran into Wander with Will and a couple other people giving out trail magic on the AT. Earlier today, though, Rob, you were actually hosting a workshop. We're actually participating in a cleanup. Uh, Helping to remove invasive species over at Smithall Woods. Is yep, Smithall Woods State Park, a uh, great park over by in between Cleveland and Helen, Georgia. And we did a big workshop there about introductions and leave no trace, but we did a big invasive species cleanup this morning. We, we removed autumn olive, autumn olive, and privet because it's running rampant out there. We got rid of a lot of it this morning. You know, I think we invasive species, I think animals so you might ought to, ought to say you know that someone called me an animal once <laughs> <laughs> no but my impression was well, you were gonna do animals I didn't know it was we're removing invasive animals no yeah no plants are like you yeah. yeah they no, choke out local vegetation no, I, well I found that out but my first impression was what's he talking about what the animals you know so it's plants if you think about it though, we're kind of the invasive species out here, right? <laughs> so that's why Leave No Trace is so important because if we're invading these areas, we want to make sure that it looks just as good as we found it, if not better, right? That's what practice is. Well, I mean, we're going to leave an impact no matter what because we're out here to begin with, right? Just how can we just minimize it? That's the whole thing. But anyways. Well, you know, speaking of Leave No Trace, I know you're chomping on some pizza here, but I want to ask you some questions because you are the man on the move right now. We, we go out hiking and camp, but you're actually going across the country. Across the country, yeah. And you are actually doing a, a number of different workshops yep. with Leave No Trace and, and Subaru. Do you want to talk a little bit about, you know, what's going on, why, why you decided to take that back? Me, he just started in Florida. Uh, now you're working He late. started in Texas, actually. So for those of you who care, um, okay. I, I took, I took a, me and my partner, Janelle, we took a job with, the nonprofit Leave No Trace, based out of Boulder, Colorado. They were looking for traveling trainer teams, basically teams that travel the country and, uh, and help uh, spread the Leave No Trace principles by working with land managers like the Fish and Wildlife Service, Bureau of Land Management, you know, these things. And, uh, and we host, like I said, workshops all over. So we're sponsored by Subaru. We, we get a, a Subaru Outback, we get a rooftop tent, and we get to live and work out of it around the whole country so uh, we decided to uproot our lives and just be on the road for for 11 months how and, cool is that and so yeah so far we're loving it you know and uh <laughs> if you want to know more i got more information on my channel if you haven't subscribed to rob elton yet that's that's me um there's a whole bunch of cool stuff on there obviously so. for those that don't know this and just starting to follow our channel i actually met rob Pelton up in kentucky kentucky at the red river gorge two years ago almost three years ago yeah you know, I can't believe it's been that long, but uh, backpacking with Jason, Jeremiah Stringer, a number of people were out there. They hosted this get-together up in the Red River Gorge, and we were out there for a few days. And day one, we went up to, I guess, the 
Indian staircase, and then we were circling around in some other camp spot. Some, I think we also cloud splitter. Cloud splitter, yep. I actually got to see uh, your your uh, cloud on. Oh, yeah. You, you, you were going up. It wasn't repelling per se, but he was. He had the definite skills of how he wanted to get up. I looked like I was holding on for dear life, and Rob was just anyway. Yeah, so, that's coming from running from cops when I was a kid. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I thought I was, you know, able to handle it, you know, jumping around like a mountain goat. Well, that night, evidently I slept wrong or whatever, because in the morning when I woke up, I had thrown my back out. Mm -hmm. So for the next two days, I'm hiking with some of these established hikers doing all kinds of miles, and I just looked like the oldest guy in the group. I was like, oh, hold on, guys. Oh, God. I had my backpack yeah. kind of in different angles. This Metro on the move, he's, he's a hiker? I was just sitting there like, <laughs> oh, guys, I'm so, I'm so sorry. What's up? Is that a comment right there? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. In fact, let's go ahead and hit this button and see what happens. <clears throat> Top chat. Top chat? Sure, why not? We'll see some chats. If you're on the live stream, drop us a chat to let us know where you come from, <laughs> where you are. Yeah, minimize the impact. You got it, Will. Thank you very much. So we got the chat up in the live. So if you want to ask us a question and you want to get an honest live answer, <clears throat> this is the time to do it. We're actually on a live stream by the live stream behind us. I don't know if you can see it. In fact, if I do this. Live yeah. stream. Yeah, live stream, right? That's what a live stream is all about. <laughs> so, buy, buy a live stream. So, food tonight, guys. Everybody wants to know you're eating pizza. This is pre dinner. Pre dinner. Pre dinner. What is in your food bag for tonight? I've got, I've got two things. I've got a pot roast, Campbell's pot roast. Oh. I'm not sure I'm going to do that because it's got 1800. Sodium, <laughs> sodium in it, but I also got a peak refuel, uh, which is the out uh, the chicken pasta pesto. Pe no, not the pesto. Mm. Chicken Alfredo oh. pasta. Oh, I really like that one, but it's got almost 1,800 sodium milli too. So I'm not sure which one I'm open up. So let's talk about those two things. First of all, one. Even though it's got high sodium in both of those, if you are hiking, isn't it good to have a lot of sodium in your food, or is that might be completely wrong? No, I'm, I'm not a health expert, but out, I, you know, sugar and sodium out on the trail, I, th I feel like it's all right. I don't touch them. I, I will never touch a uh, sugar. I never pick up a sugar thing. We get enough of that in, in every, every day. day. Every day in yeah. donuts and whatever you eat. And I like those. Yeah, I like the Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> sugar, sugar donuts. Sugar donuts your favorite? Yeah, yeah, I like those. But, but yeah, I feel like on the trail, we, we can, look, I'm 83. <laughs> so what? I'm, I'm fine. Okay, so, so you did a video recently on the Campbell Stoop diet, right? You went out and you said, hey, this is a great low-cost <laughs> item to go camping with. But what does that can actually weigh? No, I didn't weigh that. See, but, I want to know that. Well, it's, listen, I, I mashed it flat and hauled it out. And you're right, when you pick it up, it does have a little weight to it. But, hey, my hikes are not one to three, maximum five miles. That's it. Okay. So, so I can carry out that camp. So it looks like we got a chat there. We might have missed it to see what it says here. Hey, guys from Be Still on the Trail. What's up, my friend? Thank you for joining us. Still, Rob Pelton. That's PTL, isn't it? Yeah, PTL. In <laughs> fact, I'm at... PTL on the Appalachian Trail, not too far from here. Uh, we're actually in a, in a very beginning part. Little Rascal Crafts, what's going on? No way you're twice my age. Uh, well, you know, that would be you. I think yeah, that. yeah, and he's, he's still he's doing, doing it. He's still getting it done. He's still getting it done. So what's he talking about? I didn't hear. You're, you're twice someone's age. Oh, <laughs> but that should be an inspiration to you because this guy gets out and still does it almost every single week. Yeah, I do it every single if I have a partner, a uh, camping camping buddy. Speaking oh, of PMT, so uh, someday I'm going to meet you on the PMT. Oh, he's still on the trail. PTL's going to be down there to meet you on the. PMT. All right, well, hey, PTL you, on the PMT. PTL well, on the PMT. Right, right. Listen, ASAP. <laughs> you go to my community page, pick up my um, email, yeah. and um, let me know when you're in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, fact. Give me your phone number, I'll log it in, because I don't answer a phone that's not in my contact Don't list. put a comment down below. <laughs> yeah, don't put, but oh, Rob, I need to get yours too if you don't mind. Because I don't answer too many people trying to sell health care too. <laughs> it's already healthy enough, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So PTL met him on the backside of Blood Mound on the Appalachian Trail when he was on his through hike. Oh, okay. That's how cool that was. And then he actually made it all the way. And then it turns out that Be Still on the Trail or PTL, he actually ended up meeting up with the Wandering Monk. Actually done a hike with him, and now he's actually in the PMT. That's pretty cool. Very, Very good. good. Just hit me up on the community page, get your number so we can uh, text. That's the easiest way for me, and uh, we can go from there. So circle back to the other item in his food bag, the Peak Reef, right? The Alfredo Chicken Alfredo. I love that dish. In fact, the reason why I recommend picking that up over a lot of different backpacking foods is because it has high protein. I believe it has 54 grams right. of protein. So if you're looking for a lightweight requires less amount of water. Yeah, that's that true. is the right way to go. But the problem is what? The pro you put the right amount of water, or you get soup. But also, it's very what compared to the Campbell soup. It's light. It's it's for one thing. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah that Campbell soup is less than three dollars. If you go to Aldi's, it's two sixty-eight. I think two sixty. You said the number. Yeah. If it's 269, I'm going to be pissed, right? <laughs> it's 268. And less than three. That's why I put in the less thumbnail. It was less than three dollars. Because sometimes you buy it at Publix. There's a, a Kroger's and it's and it's close to three dollars. Well, one of my favorite things that I brought for tonight is actually this pho. Vietnamese pho. It's a, it's a lightweight. It has about 300 calories. It's not going to... 1,800 milligrams. But it has 1,800 milligrams. But it's a low cost. <laughs> yeah. Light. Somewhat light, very light, and not really filling, but just comfort food on the show. I, I'm a noodle guy. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, the lamian, you're going to have a lot of sugar. That's just the way it is. You're a lot gonna, of salt. Uh, salt. And salt, yeah. They're yeah. going to have a lot of that. What are your go-to backpacking meals? Let us know in the chat. Yeah, I would like to know. Any secret snacks that you guys have, like anything that you keep that we may not know about? We'd love to hear about that kind of thing. I like um, Sour Patch Kids. Ooh. Following Walker's World. Tom Walker. Tom Walker. Rob hey, Pelton. Hey, Tom. Rob. Tom, I'd like to meet you one day, and hopefully I do. Well, well he moved out of Florida now. He's oh, I was South. just in Florida for like five weeks. Yeah, he's in South Carolina now. Well, Where's we're he heading at? up somewhere up there. He, he's um, by the... No, he got a homestay right now. He's, but, but he's living by what trail? Oh, he's living by the Foothills by Trail. By the Foothills Trail. Yeah. But now, listen, instead of getting less work, look at what he's doing. He's got chicken. <laughs> he's got chicken, chicken stuff, fruit, stuff. fruit trees. Um, he's going to have meat chickens, meat, wow. meat uh, rabbits meat. or something. Oh, my God. He's just adding so work. What's the difference between a, a chicken and a meat chicken? Meat chicken, he's going to eat. The, the hens is laying eggs. Yeah, eggs and meat. So the hens get no, left he, alone? No, not, not chicken meat. It was, um, what's the other little? Uh, not mystery meat. No, no, no. The other little chicken. Hens? No, no. The whole island red? No, yeah. uh, he type it in for us. Tom, he, what's the name of the chicken he's he, he gonna eat? No, the, the meat, the meat the chicken. The meat chicken, we want to know. The, the meat chickens. Not I remember duck, going to a chicken duck, farm. Not duck. I went to a chicken farm one time and all the chickens were just laying flopped over all over the place. Yeah. It turned out it was a boneless chicken farm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, no. I love retelling jokes. I, well, speaking of jokes, you got one more you want to follow up with that before we go into oh, over here? My dad jokes just have to find a natural moment. Man. Natural moment. Do you have a go-to joke? Because I have one I want to quail. Quails. Quail, yeah. Quail. Oh, yeah, thank you, Tom. Yeah, quail. He, a meat chicken is a quail? Well, he's getting quail for meat, okay? <laughs> what in the quail are you talking about? Well, what, what in the quail are you talking about? <laughs> Someone left a comment here to see if I can pull this up. It said, Wondering what we are trying so hard. Okay. Either way. We're um, trying so hard to figure one? out Who quail. Said, We're trying to figure out quail. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, at 83, don't come that quick. <laughs> and, I, and these doofuses there, neither one could come up with it either. All right, so I'm going to Vegas in a couple of weeks, and I'm looking for some uh, jokes, some dad jokes, to be able to say on the trip while I'm at the conference, right? So here's a joke for you guys. You guys can take this and use it as your own. What's the difference between Las Vegas and Wuhan? And in Wuhan? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a, bad, that's a bad joke. Well, you know, I got to keep it light around here, but I think it's pretty relevant and funny for everybody. Yeah. But speaking of getting outside, we are up in the North Georgia mountains. It is a beautiful day. It's probably in the 50s right now. It's supposed to get down to the 30s, but a beautiful day. We actually have a spot that's right by a waterfall. 
Yeah. And I tell my, uh, my security alarm going off. Um, in your living room. Someone, someone, living room. someone knows I'm out in the trail. They're like, oh, he's live. So let's go rob him. Why is uh, <laughs> my security alarm? <laughs> Because that was awesome. That was awesome. He likes the joke. Oh, oh. Yeah, that was fun. No, I don't have one on the top of my head. No. No. I listen to all them bad jokes. They make me laugh. Okay. Some of them is hard to catch. Yeah. Right okay. What kind of car would Humpty Dumpty drive? Humpty Dumpty A Yolks wagon. A Yolks wagon. Okay. That's another dad joke. I mean, I guess we should watch Sherman. <laughs> Being called for dinner. Have fun. BTL, thank you for joining us. Signing off. Hope to see you on the PMT. So if you guys have some questions for us, this is the time to do it. Rob Pelton, again, is traveling across the country. Leave No Trace. Principals with uh, Subaru. Doing all these different workshops and so forth. He's doing a number of different workshops. Uh, today, though, uh, we actually covered, is it four Ds or five Ds of... Oh, four Ds. The four Ds of minimizing campfire or, impact. Right, right, the four Ds of gathering firewood. Oh, so the four Ds, we start with D number one. Dead, make sure it's dead. Not standing. Not standing. Right, right, and you, you see a lot of like half burned logs and fires, probably because someone chopped down a live tree and it wouldn't burn on it, right? Yeah. So what is the second D? Uh, you gotta make sure it's down. So you want to make sure it's dead and down. Already tipped over, already on the ground. That's going to be your best bet. One for number three on the Ds. Make sure it's dinky. You're looking for like wrist-sized firewood so you can break it easy and it has a better chance to burn all the way through into ash. We're going to the fourth, the final. John was helping us break some firewood down. So I was going to get the firewood. Rob was actually breaking it down into smaller pieces. He was sewing it. And then John says, I'm going to help as well. And so he picks up the stick, breaks it in half, and throws it in the middle and goes, you need kindling. Yeah, that was a good break, though. I mean, that, that was good. a solid good. break. That was good. <laughs> D number four, Rob Pelton. <laughs> is make sure it's distant. Gather your firewood from a very large area, not from one concentrated spot. So you minimize that impact. And I did see a question on there on what was my favorite park in the southeast. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I was just in Florida for quite a while, and, uh, boy, what would be my favorite park? I mean, I was just in Smith Gall Woods in, in Georgia, and that's a beautiful park. The trout fishing, uh, great hikes in there. So, I mean, as, as, to this point, Smith Gall Woods State Park in Georgia is, is pretty darn nice. Maybe you can start to figure out where we're at from the live stream based on that. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. And if you find us, you might get a sticker from Metro on the Moon. Yeah, actually, I got a sticker here today. I got two stickers in my pocket. We got recognized uh, over by, uh, yeah. It's actually this guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's me. Look at that. Yeah, right, right, right. And to kind of further yeah. what he's doing out here, leave no trace, guys. I love it. So I've got two stickers. Actually, I had four. So I have one sticker. This is the only sticker I have. He's got like 30 different versions. Wait a minute. It just <laughs> it just duplicated into two. Magic. That was magic. That was magic. That, that, so let me tell you the funny story. So wandering with Will, right? yeah. I had two of them in my pocket where I thought it was two. And I was like, you know what, Rob? I know you don't have any stickers on it. I'm going to give him one. And just, here you go, one. Mr. Will. So he takes it. And I'm like, I got one left. And now it splits into two. <laughs> Look at that, look at this. I got Rob Felton on the mind. Oh, yeah. oh is that 6'2 Magoo on there? Uh, do you know who 6'2 Magoo is? 6'2 Magoo? Yeah. Uh, no, no, top of my head. He's one of our Iowa guys. Uh -huh. And he does a lot of winter camping with us. Awesome guy. Uh, and, and just the workhorse. He went on a, on a camping trip in the winter. And he had like this side ache. And he's like, oh, that's weird. It turned out to be a burst appendix. And he just camped through it. No big deal. Because he's a farmer. Oh. If a farmer says they're probably like uncomfortable, they should go to the emergency. Emergency. Yeah. Emergency. I, oh, yeah, the my name goodness. I heard that I, I can't place. Well, for yeah. those that are watching the live stream, I noticed we only got two likes. We're going to go ahead and hit that like button and help this live stream get up. Because we didn't do an announcement on this. We want to make sure that it gets distributed as much as possible. So hit that like button if you're enjoying the live stream. Looks like we had another comment yeah, here. Gather firewood like no other. I've seen it. Gather fire. Well, we've got a nice little stack of firewood. I don't know if I, maybe I can just do this and show you what we got over there. We've got a good little stack of conditioned firewood as well as some uh, other firewood that we've caught. So this is our little campsite with all the different stuff we brought into camp. We didn't have a hike in today. It was more of a, 
uh, what do you say, just a park and pitch, uh, park and pitch right? Yeah. I hauled in all that firewood. So one cool thing we did get to do is uh, backpacking with Buckley. We got to actually have a chance to um, send him a picture. Shout out to Backpacking with Buckley. If you haven't seen his channel, make sure you check it out. He's starting to put out more videos, lots of stuff out in South Dakota. Yep, area. yep, because he's working. And so if you are interested in actually going out to that side of the country, make sure you check out his channel. Lots of information on what gear you need to be out in that terrain because there's not a lot of trees, so you're going to have to be doing a lot of tent camping. But beyond that, a lot of different terrain, great videos and stuff. Make sure you check out his channel. So, wow, man. What are you, 30 minutes into this? Or, no, it's 20 minutes. <laughs> wow, it's only 20 minutes. Well, you know, 10 more minutes. Well, let's see. How many people are on board? Can you think? Right. We got four. Right. So since we're on Metro's channel, what questions do you have for Metro? You have them right now. Yeah. What do you need to know about this guy? Honest live answer. Because I mean, I'm on this guy as it is. Open book. Open book. Okay. Don't be mean there. Don't be mean. Shut up, that's What the heck's wrong with these? Those are the those are the best ones. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. So, well, let's talk about uh, any type of new gear. Guys have had any, any new gear for 2024? Uh, I actually don't have any new gear right now. I had a bunch of gear stolen. Oh no, what happened? Uh, I, I was trying to ship a bunch of stuff home and the car got broken to in Denver and like most of my backpacking stuff is gone. Oh, so man. now I'm searching for a new backpack, a new backpacking backpack and uh, clothes and all like my alpaca wool clothing <laughs> gone. Everything's gone. Were you getting profiled or something? Someone know the car that Man, the stuff was I in? don't know. The bag was camouflaged. No one should have been able to see it. <laughs> That's horrible. Because I, I actually have said this to myself multiple times. Someone stole my backpack at this point. I probably quit backpacking. I mean, it took me nine years yeah. on this channel to get it to where I have it honed into what You're I dialed did. in, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. my God. I feel the same way. If somebody stole my stuff, I think I'd just give up. Just, just, get, just, just get a regular... Hike. No, see, if you know enough YouTubers, Trust me, YouTubers have plenty of gear that they need to sell or give away or donate. Because I got a closet full of stuff, uh, of all the stuff I've just graduated with over time, right? And I just never sold it, I still have it. It's too bad none of it are back. Cody Wanderers, what's going on, my friend? Hey, Cody. Hey, Cody. Cody, I told you where we're at. I think that you know where we're at, but don't say it. It's just a phone. <laughs> um, so new gear for 2024. I picked this up a little bit before 2024 but it's not on today's voyage. In fact, I'm just using a burner tent, as you might see here. This is my uh, passage to, I've had this about 12 years. So I'm in my, my, my uh, burner tent, per se. Anyway, the tent I picked up was the Hyperlight Unbound Two-Person Tent. It is a Dyneema tent, Sweet. single wall, and it breathes. It's got a vent in it, so it doesn't get as much condensation inside the tent. And it Water is proof. about Zipper. the same uh, weight as my duplex cell. So I have actually left Z packs, and now I'm all hyperlight. That's where, that's where it's at. You're saying Mr. Hyperlight over here. Hey, you know, I'm representing the hyperlight. I appreciate the guys over there. They actually have a really good um, warranty program on a lot of their gear. They stand behind their products. Great customer service. They've treated me well on all of them. If I ever had an issue, they've always taken care of it. So I can't say enough good things about it. But the tent, getting back to the tent. It has been my go-to. The, uh, the waterproof zipper vestibule, the vent on the top, uh, the magnetic toggles when you're trying to... That's genius. I love it! So it's got a lot of different elements that they have pulled or have been inspired by different makers, but it is a great tent. So if you're in the market, check that out. John, new gear, 2024? I was trying to think. Well, I got a... Uh, you know what the, um, Appala uh, the Appalachian kickoff was called Gateway now. I, I went and... Um, Stupid me talk to the Z-Pax guy and said, if you give me the food, the front utility. Yeah, back, yeah. And $75, I said, I'll buy it. I'll upgrade my old off-road, the new off-road. So I called my hand and I had to buy it. Oh, 400 bucks. Wow. <laughs> it's that, it's that old chip. Yeah, no, yeah, the one I had was the old one. It was just waterproof. That was the big problem. Oh, interesting. It was that ripstop factor. Yeah, I actually have the same in black. Yeah, you do. Well, I got it. Oh, use Andy had a great idea. I hope he posted it. There you go. You want to mention it or you don't need to mention it? I think you should because you said that. Okay. He wants to develop a um, location for 
backpackers like to say thin only things yeah. and have a booth where backpackers can bring all their extra gear. A swap meet. A swap meet. Yeah. Backpacker swap meet. Absolutely. Yeah, like that. And you can either swap or buy or you trade know, or whatever. Trade. You know it's going to be, you can bargain whatever you want. You know there's good stuff like my, like that arc hole. Nothing wrong with it. You have to put a pack cover on Yeah, of course. And you can pick it up really nice. Yeah. Cheap. So that's there, just one thing. So if we were to host a backpacker's flea market or a swap meet, right? Somewhere in the southeast. Somewhere in the southeast, maybe at Pinhoti Fest. Would you guys want to go to that? And would you want to participate in it? Put a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Because yeah, that's a great idea. I think, yeah, why Andy not? Yeah, came up with that last year, and I was waiting on him to develop it. I think it was just the more time. I would need my own booth. <laughs> my own complete booth of stuff. <laughs> but now that you had it all stolen, this would be a good spot for you to go back and collect all the things. Yeah. That it's, a lot of it's like camp, just general camping stuff. I have a lot of camping things. You know what like I mean? Like heavier camping Yeah, gear. yeah, like heavy, just like camping stuff. I have a lot of bushcrafting stuff, right? I, I do a lot. You got a lot of knives? I got a lot of knives. Don't break into my place. <laughs> It'd be so bad. Shop, 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 you got shop. little twig stones and all I got twig stones. I, I got everything. One thing I want to talk about is this particular headlamp. Sometimes new isn't always better. This is the Nightcore NU25. This is the OG, and this is the OG in yellow and in black. This is cool. I picked up the UL one. Yeah, this and is it's cool. got it's got these like crazy little uh, like straps, right? It's not really Okay, here's the new NU25 from Nightcore. It's upgraded, it's got a bigger battery, it's a little bit brighter, but the usability I think is way better on the original NU25. I still yeah. have the original, it, it's at home unfortunately, so now I have their new version. I actually don't like the new version of the Nightcore NU25. I, I, I don't. It doesn't work. It's, it's less intuitive in my opinion. So what they need to do is bring back the OG and make that a C instead of a Correct. Yeah, you make that a USB-C. This is USB-C. I do like how it locks out at least so it doesn't turn on in your pocket well, this one, this or your back. One, this one does the same thing. Yeah, it does the same thing. Yep. So you'll notice if you look at these headlamps, you've got the string. You've got the string over here. And then I actually replaced the one that I had. I have this too. On my, on my original one, I got that band. This is where it's at. I'm yeah. telling you, this has been my favorite piece of gear that's in my pack. The NU25 Nightcore, the OG, but Nightcore, you are watching this, which I don't think they'll ever see. No. Yeah. <laughs> never see you know, if, look, if you're watching it, make sure you just put the C on this and bring back the OG. You, you got a you gotta winner right there, because it is light. It is, it is lighter than the band that it comes with. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, I got that same. Where'd you get the band? Um, It was given to me, actually. By Justin, you, Justin Jewell on Etsy? No, it wasn't Justin. Yeah, a guy, a guy named Justin, uh, he makes uh, shoulder uh, shoulder water bottle pouches, and he uh, sent me one of those. Yeah. So if you can see what it is, it's really just a strap. Yeah. It has this uh, stitching on the side, but it has this cord and a toggle. And that's it. And that's it. It is genius. Sometimes the cheapest things are the best things. I see what you yep, mean. Yep, I have, I have this one too, I right? I pay $15. For yeah, I, I actually bought that. $15 from Smith's. Uh, Lightsmith, yeah. Lightsmith. Yeah, you're rich. $15? Now I'm retired with no money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, in you 25 makes it right outdoors. Whoa, live greetings. Right outdoors. What's up? Thank you for hey, joining Rod. us. Yeah, he, he, he comments all the time. Yeah. Hello, Rod. Welcome aboard. Other things we want to talk about on today's episode of Out Here in the North Georgia Mountains spring right so the temperatures in georgia are about 50 going to drop into 30s tonight yep what has been the coldest temperatures you've been in recently yeah recently oh uh when uh maybe 16 below zero 16 below. whoa i was in boulder colorado when that mm. when that polar vortex came through and that was the same time I was building a platform for the inside of my Subaru. Like in that cold, I had to like go out and test fit it in the cold, run back in. It was ridiculous. Negative 16. Negative 16. So yeah, it was one of the warm days. <laughs> yeah, gold gets cold. Yeah. So an adventure with Nick and Rachel asked where we're at. I'm going to give you a hint. 
because I think you'll probably know. It's where you filmed your first video with Rachel years ago. Not the PMT, that's correct. No. But we are doing a live stream again by a live stream. By a live stream. Bring tacos. It's, yes, if you know where we're at. Uh, in fact, Nick and Rachel want to go backpacking soon with us. That is what I've heard. Nick's, Nick's his friend. I mean, maybe Rachel doesn't listen. They tease me. They just tease me. I'll be up there in a little bit. You're going to be up here tonight? If, if you know where we're at, we're actually, if you know where we're at, if you go past that main area, and you, I'm not going to say too much, and you keep going, keep going, keep going to where it'd probably be sketchy. If you kept going, that's where we're at. Yeah, don't go over the stream that runs across the road. So we, that's, that's that, where we at. No he was trying to avoid saying that. <laughs> <laughs> they no here? They here? Uh, I don't know if they're here. Oh, I thought you said they were here. He says it's going to be up here in a little bit. Maybe right, he so. meant like next week or, oh, okay. or the phone. But <laughs> I'll tell you what, it is incredible weather. Oh, right yeah, outdoors. Yeah, Thank right you on the 5,000. Yeah. yeah, actually, that's a great segue. On the last backpacking trip, when I was with Senior Hiker 77, or Johnny Camper, as he's now being called, <laughs> I'll be heading to North Georgia in a little bit. What does a little bit What's mean? A little, a little bit, bit. It's a little like, bit, like tonight, minutes, days, weeks? Or later. What are we talking yeah, about? Yeah. So as I'm backpacking with Johnny Camper here into our campsite at Sparks on the PMT, uh, we actually did a couple videos. And in the morning, I actually released a video of making Spam on a fire, mm -hmm. or maybe it was making fresh coffee on, on a fire. Oh, it's out. Yeah, that video is out now. You just put it out today. But we were talking about yeah, the video actually happened. I actually put the video out today. If you want to see that episode, make sure you go ahead and look within the it. hour. Oh, within the hour. That's what it said. Incredible. I look forward to seeing you, my friend. Bring firewood. That, Bring firewood. Hey, you got my number. This there's session. enough room here for you guys. So. 100. percent If you want to come and camp. Come on, come on over the bridge and keep going, and then you, when you get to the water going across the road, that's where we are. So we're totally going to get murdered <laughs> We're going to get murdered today. Total accident. <laughs> Speaking of uh, funny things, right? So we're, as a backpacker, camper, outdoor enthusiast, you keep a lot of things in your back trunk, right? right? Yeah. Right? And today, you know, the question is, like, oh, do you have a saw? I'm like, yes, I have a saw. Oh, do you have a hatchet? Yes, I have a hatchet. Do you have fire starter? Yes, I have fire starter. Do you have rope? Rope, duct tape, lie. Plastic bag, shovel. Lie. Tarp. And he goes, you have lie in your bag? You have lie? I was like, oh, <laughs> no. Lie. You need to dissolve the So bodies. you can bury a body? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what we were saying is, is that if you did have a bag of lie in your car, right, that would be the one thing that would actually get you in trouble with the police. I'm pretty sure. I think I got reservations at a campground. Nice. Oh, awesome, dude. Look forward to seeing you. It'll be awesome. We'll meet the legend himself, Rob Pelton. If you stop by. And Senior Hiker 77 and then this, this guy. Here. They got reservations. Where? At a campground nearby. They're not going to give. Oh, oh. Let's go to the internet. Wouldn't that be <laughs> Gotta be careful. Yeah. <laughs> so another thing that's probably funny is, as we're sitting here by this stream, doing a live stream, there's been several cars, I guess, going down this road that you keep referencing by a stream. <laughs> and they keep looking at us because we're kind of huddled close together in this huge area, right? <laughs> you can only imagine what it looks like seeing three guys like looking forward. We have an American flag here. It's like, it's not they, weird unless you make it weird. animated and everything. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Just everyone's like staring at like, what's going on over there? What, what are those guys doing? What, we were, what happened? We was on the P and P or something and then we went in for something. Right. The storyline. So after we got done doing the getting ready for the morning i released the video we hit 5,000 subscribers oh, yeah, right. on this channel legit and on top of which 1.5 million views oh that's that, a lot that's here's a lot, lot man that's well here's what's important to me oh yeah here we go here's, 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 no here's what's important to me andy struggled with 4,999 oh, yeah. the whole day then it kept like popping down and up no, no he never never touched 5,000 Never touched stock 5,000, but I made it happen for you. Now you tell him that. So, he goes, I know how to get you over 5,000. Check this out. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> hey, hon. Yeah. Yeah. You know Andy? Uh-huh. Yeah. He's got that channel I've been telling you about. <laughs> Can you actually watch it for a second and subscribe? I know that you don't really like that YouTube stuff, especially his channel. Especially him. Especially him. <laughs> you mind subscribing? And sure enough, she goes, hey, no problem. 
Boop. Pulling strings. 5,000 right there. It touched it. So touched his it. wife was the reason why I hit 5,000. Of course, course, he's gone on now. He's up into 5,100 and maybe 52. So one more fun part. So as I said earlier, this guy right here is like, you know what, Senior Hiker 77, I'm more of a camper now, so why don't you call me Johnny Camper? I was like, yeah, that sounds Senior good. Camper 77? I said, oh, sounds, Johnny Camper. <laughs> Johnny Camper. Sounds appropriate because for years I've been trying to catch up with him, couldn't do it. But now, well, I'm your senior. Yeah, now now he's putting it on today. Well, I got 200 more subscribers than you. Wow. I didn't say he's that. He's throwing I, it out I, there I like that. He threw it. He's, I, 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 hey, I, he actually I, threw that out there. Because he's like, I'm not going to get firewood. You go get firewood. I was like, hey, buddy, you don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> yeah. That. You're pulling he, a rank right he, now? He did that. He did that to me. I did not do that. Come on. I said, okay, that's how it is. So, no, is Jeremy at, with Midwest Backpacker, his YouTube channel, he was behind me for a long time. He put in a lot of work for about a year, and he started to really, really come he, he up. Did, that's what he and did. And then when he, when he passed me, he sent me a text that said, on your left. Oh! <laughs> but now he's got like 12,000. So, yeah. yeah, he's kicking my butt. Well, speaking of Midwest Backpacker, you just met up with him. Yeah. On the Appalachian Trail. Yes, I did. I actually have his Garmin link. I can actually creep on him a little bit. But I found he was going to a hostel, which was only 15 minutes from where I was. And I met him up there and got to hang out with him for a little bit. Because he's, he's from back home, Minnesota. Uh, and I won't be able to backpack with him this year because of the offset traveling. Uh, but I hope to uh, see him hopefully right around the end of April. Hopefully I'll be back in that area. So, so no big deal, right? He's doing the first 250 miles on the AT. Now, Another thing that he said, Rob told me earlier, was that day one, Jeremy, or Midwest Backpacker, was actually on the trail. It did 16 miles day one. He did the approach trail and then eight miles on top. Yeah, yep. So that means he went past Stover Creek, mm -hmm. and then he got onto the part where he was actually on the Bit Mackay for a little bit. Right. And that area is brutal, especially because you get towards The Sask approach trail is like legit. Straight up. For eight miles, you're just going straight up. Then you finally get to Springer, then you got some little you know, little pugs, and then it goes up again, right past Three Forks is where you really get that. that Trey impact. Mountain, is that Trey Mountain? Trey Mountain the other day. Oh. In fact, Rob's like, oh, I'm gonna go meet him at uh, Around the Bend. Around the Bend, yep. And, oh, oh that's positive. Around the Bend Hostel, and he had done a 16 miler, which started at Unicoi to the Dix Creek Gap, which is incredibly Yeah, he, he's done a couple of one couple uh, of going over Trey Mountain is difficult, but that whole stretch is 16 miles. That's some of the most difficult terrain on the Appalachian Trail in Georgia, I would say. So, so how you doing, my friend? That's all right. I was going to say the 5,000. That is a way mark for YouTube. You know, most of us start thinking we get paying people, we'd be lucky, right? Yeah. And, it, and when you end up with 5,000, that's unbelievable. 5,000 subs is legit. Yeah, that's a good way mark. That is a way mark for any YouTube. Well, I want to say for those that are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, one, the best thing that you can do is do it for yourself, right? You start Absolutely. Off documenting your journeys, your chant, just, just getting out there and getting comfortable of doing things for yourself. Just focus it on you, honing it in on what you like to do. And the best part about the channel is that if you are yourself, which I would say that everyone that you see that we interact with, the reason why we get along so well is because it's you see what you see is what you get, right? If, if you just become, if you are who you are on camera and you just do what you love to do, it's going to happen naturally. Now, as far as the subscribers go, do not expect to just, just take off. It's going to take time and effort to get going. But if you do a consistent pattern, and you do what you love and you, your passion comes through, you're going to naturally see that channel begin to grow. So just, if you're into it, start a channel today. It doesn't matter what you film, do what you like to do, and you will see your channel grow. Right. If you're, if you're going into YouTube, like I'm going to be big on YouTube, I'm going to get it to make a lot of money, you're, you're probably starting on the wrong path right there. There you go. Um, I, I started Absolutely. YouTube because I wanted to document the, the cool things I was doing, and then it kind of grew from there. Uh, and just like... You know, he was saying, "Be yourself." People are trying to who you are. Don't be. Don't try to be. You know, some other personality. There's no need for that. Um, and then just just keep at it. You know, it's 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 there, there's going to be highs and lows, and you just get better and better and better, and you just keep consistent. Just keep going. You know, everybody you know? wants to improve their channel. Yeah, but of course you know, do. I was thrilled when I found out I could have a YouTube channel. You know, I was seven. 
technology. I was 75. Right. And I found out, oh, oh, that up this little round circle, that that's my YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was thrilled. And then, and then of course, the first video, I realized, I got to do some editing here. You got to edit a little bit. Then you get into edit. It's a hobby. Right. In other words, I've never changed that philosophy. It's, it's just thrilling to me right. to edit and I try to do a little something. But, yeah, we all want to improve our technique and cinematography. We all want to do that. Right. And, Rod, like you were saying, you enjoy the filmmaking process. Uh, it, it is nice. It forces you to look at your, your, your hiking and your trips just a little differently. Uh, and it can actually enhance your trip. Uh, you know, if you do it right. The other thing is, if you ever get the way you can monetize, that's a big thing too. To sure. Get to, get to watch. We do. Honestly, it's hard to get four thousand watch, watch hours. That's yeah. the hardest thing. The subscribers will come, and I've found that out through Kevin. He has another channel where he repairs. Um, what is it? Shade, shade tree jet skis. Shade tree jet skis. The jet skis he repairs them. He only sees hands. Yep. And uh, suddenly he had he had over four thousand. I said, and he four hundred six five. Yeah. I said, Kevin, this is. I don't believe it. I thought he was lying, and I made him show me when we next camp. He showed. I couldn't believe it. How hard, how easy it was in the genre that he had to get the watch hours. Whereas what we do is, I swear, it's the same group of people out here. It's the same group of people. Your subscribers, and my subscribers, and Andy's subscribers, 90, it, probably 90% of them are the same people. <laughs> I agree with that. Right, right. Everybody knows it's, a small, right. it's a small group, small group. Right, and th there are that, that do hit it big at, at an early stage and, yeah, and blow people up. people like Rod, that, that Rod. break, Rod, that <laughs> break through. Uh, but, yeah, uh, it took me a long time. It but, wasn't overnight. What I want to say, when you do monetize, <laughs> like, I'm going to tell you how it is. I get, it takes me three months to get $100. Okay. They don't pay $10. You right. Do, you got to have $100 before they send you yeah, a check. Yeah, and it takes me three, to, three and a half, to three to four months to get $112. So so that's what you can expect. Don't do it for the money. That's yeah, the, yeah, don't. <laughs> so if you yeah. just heard that, you're not going to be like, no. don't do it for the money. Now, unless you're Mr. Beast. Right? Yeah, unless you, there's, there's a few like uh, Dixie. Dixie makes money, yep. And, um. We know a few other uh, yeah. campers. And, uh, I think, uh, what's that guy? I think Dan Baker. Dan Baker, he's the one, he, he, he grew fast. Yeah, he yeah. grew very fast. You know, there's a few that break through, but and, uh, I think um, Crow, Rob, they breaking through. They in the 78,000 subscribers now. I don't know. But, um, but if I get there, fine. If I don't, fine. I'm, I'm, my fine. goal is get the 5,000, right, and so I need about 60 more. 60 more subscribers helps Senior Hike yeah. 77 oh, get the 5,000 subscribers. Yeah, because if Senior ends up with more than Metro, then now he can tell Metro what to then do. Then he yeah. can be my Senior. Oh, again. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> right now I'm the Senior. Yeah, right now he, he threw it on me today. Well, I got, I told, I, no, I, going I, on. I, going I, I told him, I said, Andy, you'll, you don't get as, you get just as many views as me on your video. Even though you got more, yeah, I got 200 more subscribers than you. You won't let it go. You won't let it go. So again, <laughs> if, another point of advice that I would say is to always think about what you want to capture to share with others. That is condensed. Like, if you're going to go and hike the entire trail, that's great. If you want to keep it for yourself, that's fine. But kind of try and bring out the pieces that people really would like to see, like the waterfalls. Like the day we saw a waterfall, we saw an overlook. Make sure you take pieces and patch it together of the experience and tell a story, so others can kind of walk. Through yeah. that same experience with me. So yeah, don't nice. don't make us watch you boil water from when you turn the fire on until it starts boiling. Please don't do that. <laughs> That's what editing's for. Us. <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I you show say, us at the beginning, show us at the end. Yeah. Please. I, I love the editing process because I can take a, a very mediocre trip and make it look amazing. I've done that. <laughs> you know, I'm like this. This video is going to be garbage. I took almost no video, and, and I can make it. You know, yeah, but I this know. video will come out really good. It's, it's this a, video will be wonderful. This is impromptu. We're just sitting here again, three guys hanging out in the woods, talking to you guys, live stream. Three guys hanging out in the woods. <laughs> Already sounds like crazy. How many, can you see how many is yeah, on the line? Nine people. Yeah. So, nine. Steve Trimborn. Thank you, hey, Steve. Hey, here we go. You just, you just got a subscriber here, Four. Steve Trimborn. So, you just got. Oh, is that what he said? So I you were yeah, 60, yeah. now you're 59 to go. <laughs> I'll call my wife later and see if she'll subscribe to you. No, <laughs> we're going to save her for the five. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I like that. Oh, uh, that is so funny. But speaking of people that like to hike with senior hikers, um, a lot of people reach out and want to meet them on the PMT. 
my father-in-law actually got to hang out with you and, and my father. Yeah, both your dad and Okay, hold on. PMT. Yeah. Pine, Pine Mountain, Mountain Trail. Trail. Okay, thank you. I didn't know that. I'm like nodding like I know. I don't know. Now I know. It's right. FDR State Park is what it is. Okay, okay. Pine and Mountain Trail. Got it. Pine Mountain Trail. Got it. Thank you. So, uh, you, you've shared the experience with multiple people out there. John is actually very approachable. Right? <laughs> he does do a little bit of background screening, just a little bit. Already subscribed. Texas. Hikeaholics, I appreciate it. Hikeaholics, yeah. yes! What's up? Nice. Who's there? Texas Hikeaholics. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, what I was trying to say is, is that if you want to backpack with John or Senior Hiker 37, reach out Johnny to him. Camper. He loves to meet people on the Pine Mountain Trail. In fact, that is your go-to spot. I've been going there for three years. It says, Loafer X, I'll throw Senior Hiker 77 up. <laughs> Look at that, baby. You're growing well, yeah, well, yeah, I already grow now. I don't need but what? 58. If, if 58. Oh, Almost there. Listen, my community page has got my email. Yeah. You can always hit me up, and if I'm available, of course, this month I'm busy with my wife's cataract surgery. So if it, if, <laughs> as long as I'm available, glad to meet you out there as long as you're out of cycle. Yeah. <laughs> slight screening process, right? Yeah, slight screening. you got you, to have some. You might Google them. What does your screening process look like out of curiosity? That's actually a good question. Yeah, what 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 YouTube channel do you have a YouTube channel? And you can go look. So that's a disqualifier if we that's have to disqualify. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, you know what though? That is a good point. Um, I will say the first time I met someone from the internet was Crow. Crow? And, that was Crow. Uh, and Crow. I had no idea like what to expect. I'm driving like a hundred miles to go meet some stranger to like Hey, honey, I'm gonna meet a stranger in the woods and go hiking. For Sounds days. so crazy, right? And so when I get there, I'm like, okay, he's driving a normal truck. It's not looking like a, a one of those shady vans that says free candy on the side. I was like, that's good <laughs> there. And then he got out, and then he handed me a, a, a care package. Yes, actually, yeah. It, it actually had like biscuit mix. mix in biscuit it, mix, yeah. And it had various different stickers. That was and me. At first, I was like, this is kind of weird. But yeah, then I was man. like, you know what? He's not driving a weird van that says free candy on it, and he's actually giving me, like, you know. Uh, you make the biscuits? Up, man. They're setting you up. Did you I make the biscuits? They're good. Mm -hmm. They're great. They're mm -hmm. setting you up, man. That's what I, I, I know. I got a little worried. But then I knew we were going to see uh, John, John on the trip. And I actually saw him from the internet, too, and I was like, I don't know about this guy either, man. You like, know how we met? We met. We, you know, all of us. Yeah. It's, it's, my wife asked out the night. I said, I, don't, I didn't know any of these people. None. At all. I, it's all. Internet, I mean, all YouTube people met that Andy was one of the first, right? I reached out to you. Yep, so I had seen him. I actually wanted to do the trail. I'd actually been going there to the Pine Mountain Trail since I was a kid. And I remember thinking to myself, like, gosh, 23 miles. I would never want to hike 23 <laughs> miles on any kid. I was like, this is ridiculous. How would you get in on and off the trail? How are you going to get from side to side? Why would you spend all this time trying to figure it out? 40, 40 years later, I'm like, oh, this is perfect. I'll spend three days out here and just, you know, spend all the time and effort trying to get from point to point, whatever. But I'd watched his channel, and I was like, this guy seems legit, you know? He seems like he's not going to chop me up and do a million pieces. And then Pro had actually done it. I'd watched his channel, and he had met up with him. So I was like, okay, I know these two have met. They're from different states. He survived it. They're still talking to each other. I was like, this is a safe bet. <laughs> but then you threw in some other elements. You're like, oh, yeah, Kevin's going to be their atypical hiker. And um, uh, your brother, Mike, who might Mike be B was going to be there. <laughs> and I was like, okay, some other people. I knew it was going to be a party. So I was like, it's not going to be that crazy. And plus, I always knew if it got out of hand, I would just leave my gear and run like hell and get out <laughs> and get to the trailhead. Because I knew my car was not too far away. So. Yeah. so what I'm curious about, so a lot of people see us hiking on the trail. They see us out camping. I mean, we're camping tonight. Yeah. So what do what do subscribers think hiking and camping with a YouTuber is like? Ooh, you know what I mean? Because I've hiked and camped with a lot of YouTubers, and it's not always fun. <laughs> you always what? It's not always fun. Oh, I mean, you're in the middle of a conversation, and then I'll start boom, camera, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> put the camera. Yeah, they're gonna do and that. And you're like, what? Oh, it's a good view. Okay, yeah. can you yeah, give yeah. me a heads up? Can yeah, they're gonna, do, they gonna do that now. They're yeah. gonna grab the camera. Right, can you exactly. reshoot that scene? Yeah, so just prepare to, to stop a lot. Like, if you're gonna go hiking with a YouTuber, we're not gonna do 25 miles that day. 
All right, because whenever we're gonna hike a 10 mile trail, it ends up being 15 because we're gonna walk back for the camera. Oh, every yeah, time. yeah, lots of <laughs> So, Rod Outdoor said, I think it kind of would be like Spider Man, except shooting webs, he's shooting with his camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kinda. Oh, man, <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny. Yeah. YouTubers are a trip, man. Occasionally, I show walking back. You do that? Occasionally, I show walking back. Like, yeah, well, Cause, sometimes. Because you see them walking to and through the camera, but they got to come back for that camera. Right. Unless you have support. Well, yeah. Sometimes we'll pick it up. So, yeah, so, yeah. so, pro tip: when you walk away from the camera and you got to come back and get it, yeah. act like you're walking towards the camera. Then you can use that shot later oh, in the video. Oh, there! I love that. Right? And also, if you're gonna film like a bunch of video gear reviews, do like three videos all at the same time Ooh, yeah. and just bring a different shirt. <laughs> love that. So yeah. it looks like it's a different day, and, yeah. you, and then change the camera angle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. But you know, well, anyway, it's just, it's just fun to make videos. I, I agree. And, I, I, and I then to make them. videos that you think somebody would like to watch and you keep all the fluff out of it. You're right, right. So, uh, yeah. so Nick, if you, you just said a comment, I think it was through Messenger. I, I know we're going to be here all night. Yeah. So uh, I'll try and get to Instant Messenger as fast as I can to let you know, but we're going to be here all night. So I didn't mean to cut you off. I, I don't know, whatever. So. You got his number. I can message. I got service. Man. Well, it's on this phone. Yeah, it's all, it's all good. good. It's all good. No worries. We're at 50 minutes, though, 51 minutes. So if you guys have been enjoying today's live stream, again, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to Senior Hiker 77's channel. <laughs> Tell your friends. Let's get him to 5,000. <laughs> Rod Pelton, I mean, he's the man, the myth, the legend, man. He's he's big guy. He's already there. He's yeah. already there and beyond that. Again, he's doing lots of great things. You leave no trace. Subaru touring across the country. Thank you for spreading the message and doing all these workshops. Yeah, thank you. And in all the different areas that I'm visiting, I'm looking for local trails to hike or backpack on. I want to explore as many different trails in as many different uh, states as I can. So, you know, if, if I put out an announcement, hey, I'm going to be in Kentucky or Arkansas, let me know what's up. Maybe we can meet up for a hike. That would be even better. There you go. So make sure you check out his channel, Rob Pelton, if you haven't already. Again, this guy is the man, the myth, the legend. I got two stickers in my pocket. I got to come over and pull them out just so we can see I put them. my stickers on everything. Here's a battery pack. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that, that's how I met Rob today is he reached out to Andy. Yep. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. So John and I, we've commented on each other's videos for a long time. And this is the first time I got to meet him. Second time to meet Andy. So yeah. He's awesome. I, I knew I was up like in their part of the country and I reached out like, hey man, let's go do something. So here we are. This is great that you did that. Yeah. So thank you guys. We've had a lot of fun on today's live stream. Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. I appreciate all the support. Again, if you didn't see the last video that came out today, make sure you also check that out from the last adventure on the Pine Mountain Trail with Fred's on a walkabout, Senior Hiker 77, and a group of people like Sky and so forth. That's on Andy's channel. Yeah. Yeah. Metro on the Move. Metro on the Move. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. We are signing off. Until next time, let's keep moving. Oh, Steve Treborn, Rob Pelton. Rob Pelton. What? Rob Pelton. Help. This one. That one right there. <laughs> <laughs> Rod Outdoors, thank you so much, guys. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you, Rod. Let's keep moving.